Okay, so in the previous uh, exercise, I was I started talking about the layout space and the model space, and how to switch from one to the other, how to click inside and jump to the model space, working with the viewports. So uh, I have my viewport layer hidden. That's why I cannot see the viewport. Even though I click in, I see the line, but I cannot. Uh, modify it so I will go to my layers and turn my viewport layer on and close it so what you see right now is that is the viewport layer and again it's a window that shows the paper space oh sorry the model space that's behind it now I'm gonna show you how to make a few viewports because in the paper space a lot of times you have more than one viewport so I am going to go ahead and make this viewport smaller by working with the grips okay I can move the viewport up there and I could add another viewport or maybe two viewports over here now this viewport has a scale of quarter inch now what I want to do is make two more viewports and how do I do that so for that I need to go to the view in view this is where I can create more viewports I could create a polygon pol a polygonal vid a viewport or I could create a viewport from the object like if I just have an object if I just create an object maybe I'm just creating a rectangle right now to make sure it's on the viewport layer by clicking the viewport layer okay just click that and click the viewport layer which is right here okay now if I double click in there's nothing right why because it's just a rectangle so I'm going to convert this rectangle to a viewport where I could go in like that okay so for that I go to view I go to create from object and I click the object now see what happened this got converted into a viewport now I could give it a scale over here which is different from the scale over here for example I want to just emphasize the kitchen in this viewport so I'll double click in now instead of taking a quarter inch I will take in maybe half an inch for this one and all I see is just the kitchen now when I print it onto this sheet size or plot it this part would come out as half an inch and this part in my drawing would come out as a quarter inch so that helps me scale my drawing onto the same sheet on different details now I can make another viewport by clicking on create polygonal and I just click 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 and finish where I started hit enter okay so that made another viewport just by using polygons I could select this and put it onto my viewport layer alright so now I have one two and three viewports and this viewport I'm going to put a scale of maybe one inch is equal to one feet and now all this viewport shows is a detail of the toilet so you see how I put three different viewports in one drawing now you can do this only in the paper space 
you cannot do this in the model space so that's why paper space is extremely important to print your drawing to organize your drawing to save space on your drawing page so you could use it in so many different ways another way of making the viewport is by going clicking new I can make you know there are so many different options that I have I can make maybe two horizontal viewports hit OK and then just draw it okay so that's another way of making a viewport as well so you could draw a polygon or a rectangle and go in here click on the create object and it converts it into a viewport or create a polygonal viewport it's up to you how you want to do it but those are the different options that will help you make a viewport now if you see if I double click in this viewport is one one inch is equal to one feet half inch is equal to one feet and a quarter inch is equal to one feet so the next step would be printing the drawing right so I'm just gonna go to my layers As I said, I could hide my layer or freeze my layer from here. I have more options. Sometimes if I don't want to print my viewport, I could even click on that. So it doesn't show in my print. Like the viewport lines won't show in my print. So I could make the changes over here. And I talked about the layers where you could go change the colors as well and this sheet is pretty much ready to go and right now I'm in a D size layout if I wanted to make another layout I can right click on there I can go to a new layout or I could copy this and use this as a template but it depends what I want if I want to keep the same size same template I would use move or copy or I could go into a new layout if I go into the new layout this is what I get now if you see if I measure it this new layout measures just eight and a half by eleven inches so if I wanted to print the same drawing on eight and a half by eleven I could go make a new layout I could right click on there and go to the page setup manager see it says layout 1 I could modify it see the paper size is letter I could change that and hit OK now obviously this is a new layout so it doesn't come with the template so you will have to make a new template where you put in the name you put in the title and all the information that you would like and I can go inside and see the scale right now is not the right scale we don't have a scale that looks something like that so I could go change the scale maybe let's try a quarter inch and see how it looks you see what happened there now the page size have shrunk to eight and a half by eleven so obviously it doesn't fit this drawing in onto the scale of one fourth so that's why I have to give it a different scale if I wanted that drawing to be on the scale so maybe this time I'm going to go maybe 1 8 1 8 kind of fits it fine I'm missing a little dimension but that works I could always click on the viewport make it a little bigger okay so if I wanted to print the same exact drawing on eight and a half by eleven I would have had to give it a scale of 1 8 and then it would print out to the perfect scale okay so that's how you would make new viewports you could edit the viewport copy the viewport if I needed an extra one I could create a copy hit OK see I got layout 1 2 layout 1 I could rename it I could call this as kitchen okay and all I can do is go in and zoom into the kitchen 
got it so that's how I would be working with making new viewports modifying a viewport copying a viewport and stuff like that okay but mostly for every single drawing that you have you will have to create a new file I would it's not a good idea to have first floor second floor third floor fourth floor all in the same drawing because then you would have to have four or five different floors over here which is not a good idea so but this is how it works so if you see we have the first layout sorry this one the size was how much 36 by 24 now again in the same file we have a layout number two the size is eight and a half by eleven now the scale that we used over here was one is to eight scale that we used over here one is to two sorry half scale and scale that we used over here is a combination quarter inch half inch one inch okay so that's why it's so important to work with the viewport especially when you are working with plotting your drawing now if you look into this drawing you see the text size has changed the kitchen over here looks tiny the same kitchen over here looks big now why does it look big because we scale the drawing up now to avoid this what we would have done was when we started with the text in the first place we should have used the annotative or annotate text style if we use the annotate then the text would remain common or the same size in all the viewports okay so that's where annotative text is important to work with just because you don't want the text to print out different sizes so extremely important because when I print this my text would probably be a height of two inches and you know obviously I'm not blind to to have a text size that big and this text size might be a tiny size maybe it might end up coming out as uh, three or four millimeters okay so using annotative textile helps a lot and that's what you need to follow if you plan to do your text in the model space if you are not doing the text in the model space if you're not using annotate text you could do your text on the paper space itself and then it would stay the same size like for example if I did a dimension over here it would stay the same on my whole screen but right now you see everything is messed up because I never started with this drawing with that text size I had gone over here and changed my text size that's why it looks humongous over here so it's up to you what you decide to work with what type of a text you would like to take do you want to do uh, basic text basic dimension or you want to use annotate text annotate dimension now I hope you understood how this uh, tutorial worked the next tutorial would be how to do the plotting and publishing of this drawing again which is a really important chapter as well after I'm done with this I'm going to start working on the next exercise which is plotting and publishing so stay tuned thank you